Hey guys, this is Dodoid. So, as you can see, I now have acceptable lights, meaning I no longer look like I'm made out of orange peels. But uh, besides lights, I also have a ThinkPad. In fact, I have a few ThinkPads, and I really like them. One of the main reasons for that is that they have track points. So today I figured it'd be interesting if I took the track point out of one of my older ThinkPads, soldered on a little PS2 connector, and uh, tried it out with my SGI Octane to try out a track point under IRIX. So uh, let's get right into that. So as you can see, the ThinkPad T23 is taken apart, and that is because I did all of that to get at this, which is its keyboard. Then on the back, I took this um, flat flex, I ripped it off, and what I was ultimately trying to get at was this thing. This is a track point board, and I managed to get it out of the ThinkPad T23. So now what I'm going to do is solder up a standard PS2 connector to these pins here that the uh, flat flex left behind, and we're going to see if we can get this track point board along with a track point cap that will go over the front like this. We're going to see if we can get this to work with my SGI Octane. So uh, let's get soldering. Alright, so we are now downstairs. I've picked the worst PS2 device that I own, which is this really ancient A-open keyboard. Absolutely nothing special. Keys feel horrible. So I'm going to uh, cannibalize it for its cord. So just cut right there. And there's the cord. Keyboard can go away. But here's our cord. So uh, we're going to strip this. So I have some wire strippers here. Um, probably just going to use a big one to get at the wires inside. Yeah, should be good. Yep. And we should just be able to pull the end off. Uh, yep, yeah. inside we can see the four normal PS2 wires. Uh, now I'm going to do some probing with a multimeter to figure out which one of these colors means which one of the pins. But I'll get back to you after that, and then we can solder this up to the track point board. We will touch that one, and uh, it should be... That one, good. Okay, so... Type over here, red is 5 volts, as expected. Next, we should check which one is our ground, which should be black. So I will push down on that. And ground is meant to be pin 3, which is opposite our 5 volt pin. So it should be... Yep, there's our ground pin. So type over here, black is ground. Okay, uh, now we need to find the keyboard data pin, which is pin 1, so it should be that one down there, and alright, over here, let me guess that's yellow, perhaps, could be, could be yellow, so if I touch that, nope, it would appear that yellow is our clock, so let's just make sure, we'll touch green, So I mean white. So white is data, and we'll just verify that yellow is in fact pin 5, which will be our clock. So if we touch that... Okay, yellow is clock. So now we know the uh, wire colors of this connector, we should be able to solder it up to our track point. So let's get going on that. All right, so I've got it in place to solder the data wire. This is quite a small solder pad I'm trying to connect it to, so this could be a bit of work, but... Okay, I think we have a connection there. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so I've just got back from testing this little contraption out with a ThinkPad 390X. It does, in fact, work. So now I'm going to try it with my SGI Octane, which I would be a little bit less happy if this thing ended up killing it. That's why I tried it with the ThinkPad first. So uh, let's go to the Octane. All right, so this is my Octane in the lab. I didn't bother bringing it up to my um, bedroom, but let's open it up. Power it on. Hope this works. We have our track point contraption here. Start up sound. 
power on diagnostics. Hope this doesn't blow up my motherboard. Ah, there we go, it works. Look, there's the cursor, it works. Now it doesn't. Oh, never mind, it's just IRIX starting. There we go, IRIX release 6.5. All right, so here's IRIX. You can see the mouse is there, I'm moving it. And just like you'd expect, this feels exactly like a ThinkPad track point. You can even do the thing where you press on it evenly until it stops and then leave the mouse to drift back. So you can do everything you could with a normal track point. I haven't wired up clicks, but it's exactly a ThinkPad track point. I'm using a track point on SGI hardware. So that's how I modified the track point out of a T23 to connect to a non-ThinkPad computer, in this case my SGI Octane. Now stay tuned, because I do have more plans for this track point. But until then, thanks for watching, bye.